criminals responsible for last night's atrocity on Aldani think they've taken the Empire by surprise? We know better. We know the real shock will be when they discover how ready and eager we are to respond. To be prepared. Be here this morning and know that the only question we need to answer is how tight to close our fist. This is why we plan. This is why we work so hard when we're at peace. This is why we recruit so carefully and demand so much. The following measures will be adopted empire-wide as of today. A tribute tax equal to five times the amount stolen from Aldani will be levied on any sector harboring partisan activity. We will make it clear that no one steals from the empire the use of any local custom, festival, or tradition as cover for rebel activity will trigger permanent revocation of imperial tolerance. I spoke with Emperor Palpatine last night, and he's assured me that the ISB will be taking the lead going forward. No one in this room should have trouble accessing army or naval resources in future. The Emperor will be convening an emergency session of the Senate to propose a legislation package of bills and amendments that will free our hands in all matters of surveillance, search and seizure. We will be invoking the Public Order Resentencing Directive later today. P-O-R-D. Any criminal act with even indirect effect on the Empire will henceforth be branded a Class I offence. All prison sentences are immediately re-evaluated. All outstanding fines and levies are to be paid in full. I have assured you. You're not pleased. We're playing straight into their hands. Whose hands? The rebels. This is exactly what they want. We're treating what happened at Aldani like a robbery. What would you call it? An announcement. What is good, YouTube? Welcome back to another video. Hope you're doing well today. Glad to see, as I believe, as many of us will believe in this scene here, that this has to be uh, your Lauren here showing up, briefing the ISB about what is about to ha occur next. A name drop Emperor Palpatine roughly i think three times here in this episode and this was actually the first scene that they name dropped the emperor and basically them uh, the emperor putting the isb in charge of what needs to happen next when it's pertaining to you know the rebels and things that will have a negative effect on the empire even in the slightest and as again as i believe that this is you lauren he's basically telling the isb this is what we're going to be doing you know this is the things this is why we are tight-knit when we are recruiting uh members to the empire to the isb and these specific protocols and stuff are going to be set in place and any infractions anything of the smallest will be literally uh placed as a first offense and things of that sort so you aren't putting them setting them s straight on what is about to occur like uh like partagas said last week nobody's going home let your family members know let other members of the ISB know this is what is about to happen. This is why Partagoff was talking about, you know, get ready to be prepared for this briefing. And sure enough, the briefing was centered around Yularen, telling him what's, what's about to happen. And, the and also, too, the Emperor more than likely going to be showing up here in the Andor series to have a Senate hearing, uh, which I believe probably will be happening here in the show. So I enjoyed this scene enjoy seeing you lauren here it was dope i loved it what did you all think of the scene seeing you lauren seeing the the various things he talked about with the isb let's talk about some things guys and remember the force will be with you always